welcome to the house of ginger so you want to be a princess this is a lot to unwrap so let's rip off the bow and get to it lately there are a lot more stories of how a prince meets the common girl and falls in love and gets married aside from your moment of grr not me don't stress you have just dodged a major life change and a huge amount of expectations besides to love, honor, and pop out a few babies. Let's unwrap this. It is no small feat, Cinderella pun intended, to be a princess. Education, none of the current princesses are dropouts from high school. Most have some form of higher education, and this might be where they met their prince, such as Kate and William, or after they've completed their education, such as Masaka Owada, the current Empress of Japan, former Princess of Japan, had met her husband. She was ready for a career in diplomacy right after Harvard and another school. Or are you a university grad already in your business as an advertising executive, such as Mary Donaldson, Australian-born, hanging out after the Sydney 2000 Olympics? where she met the Prince of Denmark. Who knew? Friends of friends of friends hanging out and having a good time. Well, are you put together in public? Who has a bad hair day? Show of hands. Not these gals, and if they do, there is a small glam squad to fix it. Hair, makeup, nails, outfit. You know, when you stand at your closet and think, I have nothing to wear, even though it's not true. You just didn't think it out the night before. These outfits are curated like art. Where are we going? What are we doing? Seeing any foreign dignitaries today? Well, that one hates the color orange, so don't wear that scarf. Speaking of foreign dignitaries, they have to learn the language of their people, if not native born, or know the ones the benefits of speaking a language of your allies, which, out the aid of interpreters, could be helpful. Well, this helps turn you into a good diplomat as well. And knowing the history of the nations, the relationships, forging ahead with good manners, and hoping not to spill your water goblet during the dinner. Well, then there's etiquette. Dinner time, one can be forgiven for much, but lacking in good manners and behavior, will have you sent to Siberia. Table manners are where you have to shine, as you will most likely be attending balls and charity functions. Better brush up on that fork. Which one to use and how? As it just might be the deciding vote for your potential in-laws if you are to marry their heir apparent. In-laws. If you currently do not like yours, then imagine having an in-law with the power to say, Off with their head! And it would easily be carried out. Whew. We do live in modern times, so nothing as unreasonable as that would happen. But you will be carrying on the legacy of generations. Not just your lifetime, but more to come. So learn to get along with them. Yes, they have expectations. Yes, they may be set in their ways, but you're coming into their world, not the other way around. So, the question again, you want to be a princess, educated, well-groomed, foreign relationships, diplomatic, good etiquette, and the family legacy to carry on? These are just a few things to work on or realize you've just dodged out of it. Or, in 2033 you might get your chance. Thank you for visiting the House of Ginger podcast. I look forward to your next visit where we learn and explore and enjoy each other's company again. Have a great day.